What's up, YouTube? Pink Reaper here, back with some more let's do whatever it is we're doing right now. Uh, let's play Hippopotamus 64. Uh, so in the last part, we did a bunch of side quests. Um, and I remember that you could get a, uh, a new weapon if you do something in the flutter. Um, the Grand Grenade. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, there's too many of them. Go away. Go away. Look at how much more powerful that is than the regular grenade. Um, also, because I'm really stupid, I forgot that you can buy an item that um, that recharges your weapon energy, so I wasted 50 grand on this thing's um, weapon upgrade. <laughs> so that was cool. But anyways, now that we have the grand grenade, um, we can go back here into these the Lake June subgate and um, finally break down those walls. Break down these walls that bind us. Um, so one of these two ways is a really short path. You can't really do too much back here. Uh, I can't remember which one it is. I feel like it's this one. Oh, yay, it's this enemy. I don't like this type of enemy. Um, they have a shield that can block your shots. It's not really a big deal. Uh, outside of their actual shield, they're not very dangerous. Or not, I mean, even with their shield, they're still not very dangerous. Um, they're slow and they're easy to dodge their attacks. Um, but they can be annoying to kill just because it can take a while. Uh, found money, which is good. I need it. That one's trapped. I think this one's also trapped. Yeah. Not a big deal. I'll get my health back and a little bit of money. Okay. So now let's go. What am I doing? Let's go over this way again. Explosion is too big. You're the only enemy in here, right? All right. Let's see, there's a wall that's breakable there. Old launcher. Oh, I know what that's for. Um, not something I actually need, but I know it's for. again? Nope. Okay. Anything? No? Okay. Now we have two doors. One of them takes you to, um, where's this taking me? Okay. I know where this is taking me. Um, it's taking me to an area of the game where I can't really do anything yet, but I'm gonna go this way anyway. this part. Okay, did it. This part's really annoying. Shiny object. Yes. I think I actually, I think it's the last one I need to actually find. Oh, is this? Never came back over here? Oh. Well, it's not a big deal. Um, all I would have been able to get is that shiny object. Um, but I could have sworn I came back over here. I guess not. I guess not. Oh well, not a big deal. Let's go ahead and head back and go through the other door, shall we? 
Well, then it'll take me where I actually think it's going to take me. Um, I could have sworn this was the path that connected to where, because I remember the stupid these things. The only good thing about these is those things trying to chase me through them. Watch, watch, watch. This is great. I love this. <laughs> okay, you can just chill there right now, bro. Don't want to deal with you. Let's go, rocket skates, go! Okay, so then this door should actually take me. I can leave the other side of the... Okay, now I can make the, um, make another new weapon. Oh, damn it, I got it on the first try. I, say, I knew there was a hole hidden behind one of those, so. I forgot which one. I think the same holds true for the, these ones over here. Um, you can knock them back while they're shielding your attacks, which uh, will make them open to damage again, but still, those guys are annoying. We found our fire shard. More money. Yay! That wasn't very much money. Stop being so stingy, guys. Main core shard. I'm running out of grand grenades, so I can't use them too much. I just want a huge circle! What? So then, what door was I thinking of that takes you to the... <gasps> oh, I remember. It's in one of the... Um, Nah. Oh my god. I Okay, I remember what I was thinking of now. So this isn't going to make any sense to you guys. Um, but there... Oh shit, that was the last one. Oops. Pretty sure I needed that. Um, this is the one I came in originally, right? Yeah, okay. Um, anyway, okay, what was I talking about? Right, so, for anyone who remembers, uh, I have no idea which way is the right way. I think it's this way? For anyone who remembers, in the very first underground area, um, nope, it's the other way. There is a wall that, um, that blocks your path. Um, and you couldn't get past it. Um, behind it is a door that actually takes you to later in the game. Um, and I don't believe the grand grenades can open it. I'm like 99.9% .9 certain. I'm pretty sure you need a completely different weapon for it. Um, we'll go ahead and go try it, I guess. Uh, just because it's been, like, um, ten, good ten years since I legitimately played this game. Like I said in the other part, I played it over at, um, Sean's house a while back, but I just sort of, uh, casual streamed it and didn't really, didn't really do everything, didn't really get everything. You're in my way, bro. I like how these things are on a preset path on where they they dash. I just... Went through that. Um, and they're made to dash as if you're coming from the entrance rather than leaving. It's kind of weird for me. Ah, my back hurts. Sorry, guys. Okay, heal me up, Data. And we'll go ahead and save. Ten minutes.
minutes in. I, I didn't mean to kick you, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, wrong door. Having some issues. This is what I get for playing late at night. I'm starting to get hungry, too. I already had in and out today. Um, but there's not too much else that's going to be open right now. I have to find, I'm going to have to forage for food in my house. Which is unfortunate, because I think all I've got is DiGiorno pizzas. Shoutouts to anyone who was for that, uh, there for that stream at uh, Dee Dee's house. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can start. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, she's right here. Are you from another island? Just you wait and see. Once my leg gets better, I'm gonna go all over. The nurse tells me that if I keep working hard with the rehabilitation, my leg will get better in no time. Why don't you come over to my room sometime and tell me stories about where you've been? Oh, I'll come over to your room. Also, why, why do you have to stay in your room all day? I mean... You have a leg injury. It's not like you have fucking super aids or something. You can go outside. Whatever. Um, this is a really basic side quest. Um, which I don't think I can finish right now. Yeah, okay. Um, I, in, in theory, I can't even really start it yet. Um, what are we going to do? I for. Got what else I was gonna do. So we'll just call roll. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. Um, not special weapons item development. So I should get two out of this. Dead Saber and Penlight, we're used to make blade arm, short range arm and weapon. It's probably the best use when you get in trouble and are surrounded by enemies. Oh, oh, that's all I got. Okay. Um it's very short range. You can upgrade it so that it lets out like a, uh, an energy slash that goes a little distance, but it's it's so short range it's not really that useful. It is really powerful though, um, which is worth noting. Um, you can deal a lot of damage to enemies with it, but... What? I don't even want to, I don't even, I got, I just got the weirdest text. Um, and without a ton of context, <laughs> without a ton of context, it won't even make, okay, actually, you know what? Even without the context, this statement doesn't make any sense. I'm thinking of the German guys in Lederhosen, never mind. I don't, there is no context where that makes sense, including the one in which it was responded to. I just... I don't even. I literally can't even. Alright. So we'll go down here. We'll check the wall. Probably won't be able to break it. If we can, that's cool. Because um, I'm pretty sure there's still something that stops me from doing anything on the other side of the wall. But I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't. Didn't think so. Okay. All right, so one one final last thing, and we're going to go ahead and start the last um, subgate. Hey. Hey, baby. What you doing? Research of a documentary called The Great Disaster, Distant Myth or Impending Future. Oh, okay. You're completely alone and you're staring at a wall. Just, just throwing that out there. Okay, anyway. Um, so, if you remember in a uh, few parts back, I went to the main gate and I got a cat. Um, unfortunately, um, between then and, like, finishing up this, the Lake June subgate, uh, when I was grinding money or something, uh, I died. Like, just, I think I mentioned that in one of the videos, I just, like, stopped paying attention. Uh when I was grinding money and something killed me. And... 
it knocked me so far back that I didn't actually get the cat. So, we have to go do that now. I don't have to, but I can show off what happens when you do it. Because before, nothing actually would happen. Nothing really would happen. There was a, there was a small, uh, small change in things that happened. But now... If we come here to the flutter, there will be one... Uh, where will there be one? Is it time-based? It might be time-based. Usually there's a few cats out here um, by the flutter. Oh, okay. I actually have to let it out. Let's see if there's a, they're outside too yet. Nope. And I say they because the number of cats increases over time. Uh, I guess that was a that was a female. Um, anyway, I actually don't need to leave. I can do weapon development over here. Um, before we head to where we're heading, I actually have to change weapons. Oh. You may also notice the music's changed. That's because we gave her the music box. There it is. So I know you can, you can find it somewhere. Um, anyways. So, in the last subgate, it's actually required you have the Powered Buster, or whatever it's called. Uh, blade Arm isn't that good. Yeah, I guess. It's really dumb. I hate that you have to have that. Um, not even a reason to, in, to actually, like, upgrade it. Let's go ahead and start the subgate, shall we? It's probably going to be a really long part. Here we go. Made even longer by this cutscene. What? What's with the black dot? That's up above the what? Is that a graphical glitch? That's supposed to be there? I'm so confused. Um, let's go ahead and save. Was that really eight minutes? Damn. Let's head down. All right, so there's, like I said, there's nothing that actually tells you, like, in the entire, in the entirety of the game, there's nothing that tells you you will need this weapon. Um, nor is there anything that tells you that this weapon can be used for what it's going to be used for. Um, this was like a roadblock for me as a kid the first time I played. Um, I just eventually started trying everything, and eventually this worked. I've never seen a sight like this before. There's a big pit in the middle, and I can't get any readings from inside. I wonder what could be in there. So the second you jump down here as well, um... Mega Man? Are you okay? Can you see a door somewhere? Yeah. It's not possible to leave quite yet. I don't think. I don't think this... I don't think this one works. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. On the plus side, you're not trapped. Any readings of that room, Mega Man? My monitor's completely blank. Take a look around and let me know what you see. It's my guess the power's out in that room. Can you see a switch anywhere? I don't see any switches, but there's some writing here. Let's see. It says Operations Room Two, Emergency System Activation requires direct password input from Eden or the insertion of three level two or higher 
prototype anthro unit ID card. What's a prototype anthro unit? Shoutouts to Mega Man not being before. good at reading. Well, whatever that is, you need three ID Getting cards. Getting all Floyd right? Mayweather Jr. up in if here. If you're lucky, you'll be able to find them inside there. So yeah, we have to find some keys, like always. Have more assholes I hate. And yes, these ones can turn invisible, although they don't. Um, or no, these aren't the invisible ones, I don't think. These are the, um, I think these are the same ones that we fought in the first, uh, the first subgate. I like that you can be damaged by the explosion from enemies dying. So this was another thing I didn't really figure out when I was a kid. The first time I played through this game, it took me a little while to realize this was here, but there actually is a point to this room. Um, this is a hole in the wall. I could not tell that, that that was like even a thing when I was a kid. Especially since I played on like a, an even darker TV uh, back when I was a kid, so I, I like it blended in, per blended in perfectly. Um, It's really easy to get lost in this area. Or get turned around, I should say. It's a lot of- oh god. Guidance unit. That'll be for the homing buster or whatever it's called. Um, a lot of doors sort of take you in circles, basically. I actually didn't know that's how that thing attacked. It's kind of funny. Oh god. Penguin, no. Don't just jump at me. Okay, so let's let's explore this area a little bit. There's a hole on this pillar. Found the first I think I found ID card. ID card. Good going. I'll go back to that control room once I found the other. That hurt. Oh, actually, I need to not take like any unnecessary damage. I forgot there's some enemies in here that um they're probably gonna give me the dick. I'm just gonna, just gonna throw it out there. Um, they are not uh they're not easy to deal with. So this one, I believe this takes me back to the center area. No, okay, this takes me here. Okay, so... That is another thing for the homie. Missiles. This is one of the things I always screw up. There's two. There's two pathways here, and I always used. To, I always used to screw this up as a kid. I used to always immediately go right, and then just not even realize that there's a door here. Basically, um, there is, however, a door here. It takes you out of the main gate or the sub gate, and it takes you into an area where you can't really do too much. There's a wall right there. However, you can come up here find an ancient book, which is another artifact that, oh god damn it, I forgot to give one of them to a, well it doesn't matter, um, to the museum, but, um, there's more to it than just this, but obviously we can't go anywhere right now with the walls block, blocking our path. I 
I actually just did that. This is also something I forgot to do one time. That looks like the generator you've been looking for. Can you get it to work? All right. You should be able to get the elevator to work now. Okay. Um, so now you're no longer trapped. Uh, so long as you remember to do that, uh, you, the elevator at the very beginning of the um, very beginning of the subgate will actually work. There's our second ID card. If I did this right, and if I remember this correctly, I should just be able to leave the way I came in. And I think it's the room right across from me. It might be the oh shh. What are you doing there? It's either this room or it's the room on the other side. Yeah, it's this room. Okay. Um, say hi to the enemies we haven't seen since the beginning of the game, by the way. Okay, you guys are kind of annoying. I'm gonna throw this out here, but you guys are way really annoying. I just don't recall you guys having as much health. Mega Man, I'm seeing something funny on my monitor. It looks like there's a false wall or something. What the hell? Why is it? There's Probably a secret room in there. Huh. That's interesting. So you're supposed to use the Powered Buster to destroy that, but it's already destroyed. Huh. Okay. Whatever. Should have just brought the vacuum on with me, I guess. Okay. Here comes the fun part. Hey, Mega Man. Have you ever wondered where the Reaverbots came from? I mean, who made them and why? You know, we go around doing digs all over the place, but is it right? It's almost like stealing. Mega Man! I'm picking up three Reaverbots close by. Watch out! Yeah. Say hello to whatever the hell these things are. Um, I'm going to continue my usual strategy of just running around in a circle and trying to get hit. These things do an absurd amount of damage. Um, getting hit by these things is not optimal. You will absolutely get destroyed if you let these things hit you. Um, which is why I'm trying my best not to let it happen. I'm also trying to get them all down to low health. Oh, shit. There's the first one. So they're worth a lot of money. Damn it. Um, the fire is what you really have to watch out for. The fire does the most damage. Any more um, I think even with the Kevlar, ja Kevlar Jacket Omega, it does like three damage, like three full points of damage. Um, it's not something you want to get hit by. And, and unfortunately, that's not the last time we'll see those enemies. That we have all three ID cards. With that we are actually. Why did I go this way? It actually. No, actually, this is the faster way. That's right. This is the fastest way out. With that, we are actually done. Uh, there is no. Um, there is no refractor uh, to find refractor crystal to find in this subgate. Oh god. Out this way. This, the door we have not gone in yet. Oh, hello. Oh no, this 
takes me where I think it takes me. I know where this takes me. So now I, I should just be back in the, um, the scent, the U-shaped room. Yeah. Damn it. That was a cheap shot. And then this will be our way out. Now, um, before I actually use the, the three keys, I'm going to go up here. Let's go to the R&D room. Active Buster, yay! All long arms for an ancient book were used to make Spread Buster. This is one of the only actual weapons in the game that you can get infinite ammo for. And unfortunately, it costs literally a million zenny, um, so it's, it, I've never actually done it. I've never bothered to take a time out from it, because it's not actually that good of a weapon. Um, but I am going to upgrade it a bit here, um, and I am going to actually use it, and there's a reason for that, I promise. It's not a hundred percent necessary, but it's it just makes things easier. And also developing those buster part the the new buster parts is really useful. I actually want all of that range as well. Um, man, I spent 14 minutes down there. Okay. So now we're going to go back down and we're actually going to use the keys. Shoutouts to the elevator not making you face the door. Just like a, a little random pet peeve. Oh my god, Mega Man, fall down, please. Oh my god, Mega Man. Mega Man, please. All I ask is that you jump and shoot. Okay. Checking ID cards. Prototype Anthro Unit ID confirmed. Version system activated. We in there. I have literally no idea what he was thinking there. I do know one of the lines is, if we open up the main gate, we should be able to figure out why the Reaver bot's activated. But, like, that correlation is never explained. Like, first off, what do the Reaver bots have to do with the main gate? We saw Reaver bots on an island that wasn't Catalox. So, why is it that this is that, like, whatever. The story has so many huge plot holes, it's whatever. And they don't really get fixed in uh, Mega Man Legends 2. So far as I know, I've never actually played it. Um, I just know of the story, basically, and how it goes. Alright, with 
that, we have opened up the main gate. And if we go ahead and head up here. We are finally done with all three subgates. Hi, cat. Oh no, okay, I could have gone to- okay, I- I thought the second you talked to her, it, uh... It starts the next scene, so, um, luckily it doesn't. Um, but anyways, um... I think that's gonna do it for this part. Uh, I mean, we got, we got a bit done, I guess. We finished the last subgate. Um, very quickly, I might add. Um, in the next part, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, we're actually gonna head straight to the main gate in the next part um, and actually advance the story, story quickly for once. Uh, I know the last couple parts have just been me faffing about a bit, but um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Pink Reaper signing out.